How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Um, so, we have week two of the World Cup of Pokemon uh, in this video. Last week, I won my match. Uh, unfortunately, we ended up being uh, narrowly beaten by Germany, 5-3. Um, so, literally the narrowest possible defeat. Um, so, not exactly how we wanted week one to go, but I mean, Germany and Malaysia, is always, Germany and Malaysia is always going to be a tough group. So, we were kind of expecting that it wasn't going to be easy. And we can still get through. Um... As you can see, we're in third in the group now, uh, but if we win the next two games, um, worst case, we're looking at a, a games differential tiebreaker. Um, and best case, if Germany beat Malaysia and we beat Malaysia, then we go through guaranteed. Um, assuming we beat Honduras, which isn't actually guaranteed at all. Um, but at the time of writing, we are, I think, 3-1 up against Honduras. 2-1? Uh, 3-1. No, we're 2-1. Sorry, we're 2-1 up against Honduras as we speak. Um, so this is the fourth game. We've got another few being played today. Um, so it would be good to go 3-1 up because, you know, 3 ones obviously a much better position than 2-2. Two, two. Um, uh, yeah, so I've had a look at my opponent's team from last week. Um, it's always useful in these just to kind of have a glance. You don't need to prep too hard around it because if your opponent brings something different, then you don't want to, like, overcommit to countering one team. But they brought a uh, pretty standard rain team. It was... Um, I think it was actually the same six as my opponent brought from Germany last week. Um, so I'm expecting kind of similar, um, which is why I brought a side team here. Um, I could expect my opponent, if my opponent's scouting my matches, then potentially they look at the fact that Venu just tore through my opponent's team. Um, and so they might want to go for like a, a, a mix up with safety goggles, Zapdos, or something. But I think fundamentally it's probably going to be a pretty similar team. Um, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, basically, I brought a, a team that does better into Goggle Zap variants of um, of that six, of the Rain Six, um, while still being overall obviously a very solid team. This this six here, these guys, um, it's a pretty solid core of six. It's arguably one of the the teams in the format with the highest like potential peak in terms of like in the hands of a very good player. This team is is like crazy good. It's kind of almost Rinya Sun like in that it doesn't really have any bad matchups, it's just it's very like it's very dependent on you outplaying your opponent. So it can be a little bit tricky at times. Um but yeah that is the uh that is the situation going into week two. Um we are projected to win this one, so I think it likely will come down to the last week. We'll see. Uh obviously no point in getting overconfident. You just gotta play the matches as they come. Um and before we get started, um Make sure, if you enjoy the rest of this video, to please leave a like on it, sub to the channel if you haven't already and you want to keep up with more content, and also go follow me on Twitch, the link to that is in the description. Um, and that said, let's hop into some matches. Right. Um, okay. We've got... Barrasuda. Instead of Incineroar. That's interesting. So I was kind of expecting a standard like Pengi Rain 6, which is this, but with instant over Barraskewda. So Rillaboom goes fucking crazy here, right? As does Gastro. I'm thinking, hmm. I don't really like Instant. Well, Instant could be pretty useful here. I think they need to bring Rillaboom to deal with Gastro. That's not up for debate. So I think I can actually get away with going like... Can I lead Thundy Rilla? Is that a crazy lead? That feels like a crazy lead. How valuable is Insin here, honestly? There's no way they commit to hard rain mode, so I can maybe get away without bringing Gastro game one and then bring it game two. I think it's maybe not the worst idea. I'm gonna go Thundy Insin, and then I'm gonna go Zacian Rillaboom in the back. I'm not gonna bring Gastro game one. Calorite isn't that useful here. Grim Style makes it difficult. Um, it gets outspend one shot by Barraskewed, or it gets killed by Grassy Glide. It can't one shot Zapdos, and that thing gets airstreams off. If it's AV Kyogre, it's in it's in trouble. Uh, so I think this makes the most sense. I'll bring Gastro game two. Um, <sighs> I think it does feel a bit weird to not bring Gastro here, but like between Rillaboom and Thunderous, I've got enough um, enough answers to rain. I think. Um, Right. Very similar lead cards, although I don't like the position of his Cramorant versus the position of mine. That's very weird. Um, what we got? Let's go Zash and Ogre. Okay, this is a fine lead for me, I think. Um, I 
Okay, um... I think I like Airstream parting off Ogre here, right? I think that play makes sense. I don't think it comes in on Airstream. Not really, I guess they could switch in Zap, but... Oh, no, not Fly. Fly's wrong. Um... Airstream will likely make my Incineral fast in their Kyogre, which means I'll get a party shot off before they can attack. Um... My opponent used AV last week, so I'm thinking this is probably AV. Um, I go big. Okay, so... Negization, game one. That's leads. This could be Dull Thunder, but I'm pretty sure they won't kill here. Like, Intimidated Beam with Blade, and then minus one Geyser. I don't... Does that kill? They do go big on Ogre. That's... Okay, I think. Somebody should live this, I want to say. We're in trouble if it doesn't. Um. Let's go. I mean, Thundy definitely lives this. Let's go. Maximum chair stream. Bonk. That's a bulky Kyogre, okay, sure. Um, we've seen Protect Transition. Protect. Hailstorm, that's not doing anything. Ooh, that's fast over as well, okay. Fat EV, let's go. This gives me a free switch into Zation, which is very, very nice for me here. Um, I get a part of Ogre. So we've seen... Uh, I'm guessing Ice Beam. So this Ogre is faster than my Incin at plus one, which is pretty interesting. I think I go Zation here just so I can get a Knuckle Boost on it. Um, they've nothing that switches in on Knuckle Bee Blade, and I'm pretty sure Knuckle Bee and that will kill Ogre from this range. Um, <laughs> Zation's at minus one, I don't care about it that much. Does minus, minus one station might actually still kill my Thundy from here is the problem. Oh, I didn't pay attention to the speeds. The other option I have is I go for Knuckle Ogre and then just kill the Zation with my Zation. Or just double the Zation, quite frankly. I think doubling Zation works here because I think mine was faster, right? If I saw that correctly. I think I was the faster Zation. So I get my Knuckle off. Zation, did a chip. I think my Zation was next in the order. Yep, okay. So that's slower than my Zation. There's Zation dies. Adios. Geyser, I mean, this will do like half ish to station, I think. Oh, not even. Yeah. Outside of rain, with a parting shot drop, that's doing nothing. Yeah, I mean, now I've got plus two station, plus one Thundee, staring down Kyogre, which is. I could probably assault this. They do like assault this Kyogre. Ah, I have play rough. Perfect. Um. See. Is that Kyogre in range? I think he's in range of Max Lightning. I'll be very surprised if it isn't. I'm just going to Max Lightning and play rough here, I think. Um, is that right? Yeah. That seems about right. Lightning. I think this kills. Yep. Deleted. Well, it's a good thing I kept player off on my Zapdos, because I was very close to changing it for Substitute, and player off is very useful here in Zapdos. Even this hits. If it doesn't hit, then that's a bit new. But, uh, it does hit. You are dead. Yep. No static prop, we love to see it. Well, that's game one. 
Um, I don't think my opponent has anything back that can make this comeback. It's Rillaboom. I don't think Rillaboom wins this. I'll be completely honest with you. Um, go ahead and fly this guy, and then the M's played. Yeah, whatever. He's dead. Okay, the last two were Zap and Rilla in this game. Zap and Rilla, which we didn't see any information on because they both died immediately. Um, I guess I'm gonna go, I mean, Ogre's gonna have a spout, right? Zation, we saw nothing protected and died. Um, I could see my opponent leaning a lot more heavily into the rain mode here. Um, just because I didn't bring Gastro last game. So I could feasibly... Oh, the problem is, do I leave behind Rillaboom or Insin? Because I think Sunday and Zation are pretty much locked in here. I don't think there's a world in which I ever don't bring either of those. Sunday Rilla be a thing? I promise that gives me no press orientation. I'm very worried about the Zation here. I don't want to go no Sunday is the issue, because then I guess I could hard commit to maxing Gastro. I'm just thinking if they don't go for um like if they go for Barristuda Ogre, I don't think I actually like Sunday that much. So I could go maybe like Insensation. Because Insensation for sure baits a, um, a Max Geyser if they go for a Kyogre lead here. Um, which is valuable. Yeah, I don't hate this. I'll do this. Okay. Um... I know it feels weird to not bring Thundee here, but I'm kind of worried that they're just going to go hard into the rain mode. Um, and Thundee's a little iffy into like, because if they leave Barrasky to Kyogre, they can just go for... Yeah, there you go. Because if they go Barrasky to Kyogre, they can just go um, like Airstream Spout, which puts me in a slightly weird spot. Um, whereas now I think I'm kind of okay. So now I'm just like hard baiting um, a water move here, right? So this is when I reveal the Gastro Switch in and just uh, B-Blade the Barrasquita, I think. Um... <sighs> I'm trying to think actually, what's the problem? If they go for like Airstream Spout here, I could potentially be in a bit of trouble. Is the issue. Um... No, because they're AV. I think Aetization should live that. I'm pretty tanky. So I think I just go hard switch Insin into the Gastro. And I'm just going to be in this blade, the Barrasquita. In comes Gastro. I'm guessing Big Barrasquita. There's no way this is Big Ogre, right? This is always Big Barrasquita, I think. I guess unless they're trying to play around a fake out, potentially, because it's intimidated Barrasquita. Okay, it is Big Barra. I'm guessing... Is this Airstream? I guess you've got to Airstream though, right? Uh, maybe I should have just faked out the Kyogre there. Yeah, I should have just faked out the Ogre. Okay, I mean, I'm fine because I, I live this anyway. So I end up I end up getting away with this. But if I'd faked out Ogre there, that's pretty free. Um, spout. I'll drink that. Um... Zation lives, because Zation's broken. Um, pretty huge stuff. B-Blade. Does this kill Barrasquita? I think it might kill Barrasquita. I could be wrong, but I think it killed Barrasquita. 
Okay, it doesn't quite kill Parascuta, but still, terrible one. Um, okay, if I go Big Gastro here, they just can't really hit it, right? Um, so I could just go, I think I just go Quake into Parascuta, and then Protect. Makes sense to me. Is that right? Am I scared of Parascuta here? Not really. Yeah. Yeah, it's more dangerous than the Ogre here. I think I just want to get rid of the Max. Um, don't really have a switch in for this, so I think I just protect. Yeah, I want to get rid of Barrasquita first, because then I can just, like, that leaves Ogre in range of a Rock and Boom Glide. Um, Okay. Ooh, that's kind of spicy. Okay. I forgot that they got that. So I'm guessing this is double up into Gastro? Oh no, they just spout again, so they're trying to clear up the Zation. I see what they're going for, but yeah, okay, that's that's super good for me, because now my Gastro is a plus two, right? They've probably got really moving in the back, but I can just switch in my Insin here and protect my Gastro. Uh, I think. Okay. Slugs at plus two. I'm guessing Rilla? Grim. What is back end Grimmsnarl? Excuse me? Explain yourself. Uh, I guess I'm quite damaged on Kyogre. I mean, I, think, I guess I just switched the station out to be extra safe. Um, Rilla's kind of done its thing here. I'm more worried about the station in the back. Um, I'm just going to switch my Rilla Boom here to tank a hit. Um, and now I've got the threat of Grassy Load on Kyogre next turn. Um, the extra tip damage on it with the Quake just means it's guaranteed to kill. Um, Okay, they like screen, that's fine. Um, not really doing this for damage. Or well, not much damage, I know I'm doing it for a little bit of chip. Thunder. Nice thunder. I don't know why they didn't thunder last turn, to be honest, if they had that. No power? Big. Yeah, you have thunder there, why do you bother going for spout? I don't understand that play, but whatever. I guess maybe they're worried about an instant switch? I don't know. don't know why I'd ever switch an instant there. Um... Okay, uh, yeah, I mean, Ogre, I'm pretty sure, is Assault Vest. So it's kind of just cooked here. Um. Okay, the old healing on Gastro. Oh, I still have a ton of Max. I actually forgot, I'll be honest with you. Um. No, I'm just gonna double the Ogre. I'm pretty sure it's Assault Vest, it can't protect. Um. I'll move before the Rilla Boom so it's dead if it stays in, and if it switches out into the Zation which they have in the back, it dies to a, um, the Zation then dies to the um, the Quake. Yep, no Protect, Grassy Glide, Bonk, easy pick up, yeah. That crit did not matter because of the Quake uh, beforehand. Um, Spirit Break, oh no, now my Gastro is only at plus one. What a shame. Um, I'll get my Quake Boost. Omega Chad Quake Boost from Gastro, let's go. Huge. Okay, um. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I do not need Rilla Boom anymore this turn. So I think what my play is here is I go for um, Protect Gastro Sack Rilla. Um. I don't actually think they swing at my Gastro here. Um, oh, sorry, I don't think they swing at my Rillaboom here, so it's not really a sack. I think they want to double down on my Gastro um, to try and catch an instant switch in. Uh, in which case, do I not just... Ah, oh, yeah, why do I not just hard switch instant in here? 
yeah, no, that, that's a point. I've no reason not to just protect Switchinson. I'm trying to overcomplicate things when I don't need to. Um, this feels pretty over, I'll be honest with you. Um, okay, we're just going to go for a protector. We're going to go for an instant switch here. Uh, I mean, even if they double the Gastro here, I'll get a, a free instant switch, and so next time I'll just go fake outization, kill the Grim Snarl, and then I think I probably just win with uh, instant late game. Obvious protect is obvious, but I mean, what else am I doing? I'm gonna get around a. I say reflect, okay. Reflect makes sense, though. I'm guessing this is play rough then. Okay, they call the protect. That's a decent move. Um. Oh, it does about two damage, but actually it did more damage than I thought it would. Um, not ideal. No more rain is fine. Hmm. I suppose it seems like I can't actually hit the Grimmsnarl here. Like, fake up Grimmsnarl due to your organization. Because Intimidatization doesn't kill me from here, so I think I can get away with just going for a Yawn. Uh, and I just fake out the Grim. Stop me getting Spirit Broken. Okay. They just let that happen. Grimstop Lynches. They should go Sacred. That's fine. I got a Yawn Organization. I think that's just game now. Yeah, now we're just protecting passing off the Grim Snarl. Um, I do I even? No. I think I hard switch Rilla, actually. Um, Gastro's at. Uh, plus one. Okay. Um, or just Earth Bar, actually. Pretty makes more sense. Uh. Yeah, I think recycling instant here is, is useful. So I'm just going to go for, um... I'm going to go for a protector, I'm going to go for a uh, Rilla switch in. Is that correct? Or is Asian switch in? No, it's going to be a Rilla switch in, I don't want to sound my Asian here. Let's do this. I'm playing this like hyper hyper safe, but I think that's my best move. T-Wave. Okay, I guess they called us Asian switching, which makes sense. Um, and then... Sub. This changes things. I need to break that now. Um, ooh, that makes things a little bit difficult. Do I? Hmm. This is very annoying. I do want to break that sub just so I could... I think I actually want to double the Grim this turn. I'm kind of glad that Train's gone, because now Grim's not got any recovery. Um, so it just takes a guaranteed turn to sleep this turn, which is nice. I'm just going to go for Earth Parent Fake Out to Grim. I think once Grim goes down, I kind of just win. Um, On. I didn't do anything. That's fine, Grim's dead to the double up this turn, I think. Earth power, just don't get fully paralyzed, please, Rilla Boom. Would be nice. Or like, Zation gets turn one wake up crit or something would also be annoying. Okay, this doesn't kill if they're intimidated. Well, I mean, it doesn't kill if you're... Actually, no, they can't even kill with a crit because they're intimidated. Um, yeah, fine. 
Nice. Let's go breaking two. I'm guessing Gastro. Okay, just no full power here would be delightful. That's not good. I'm actually going to break the Zation sub this turn, I think. Oh, actually, how many turns left on screens? One. One turn of light screen left. Okay, that's annoying. I don't think Earthbound's going to kill here is the issue. Yeah, I think I'll just do this. Full power makes things a little bit irritating. They just be blade, yeah, fine. Um, there's no way I beat this end game, right? Really goes down. I think Gastro's still in a good spot here, right? Just it's got like infinite recovery. Um, it's a bit break. Bonk. Fine. Uh, I don't think this kills. I'm at minus a bajillion. That's not even fake out range, is it? <laughs> oh, there is no way I've beefed this. This is such a throw. Okay, no light screen. Bring it in soon. Wait, why did I bring it in soon there? I should have been Zacian, then I'd be in with Blade and Earth Power. Ah, that's annoying. Uh, I think it's still fine, though, because I can go for... Um, Earth power and fake out. I think I weirdly, I kind of have to conserve. No, I'm gonna earth power here in case this um, kills the Grimmsnarl. I don't think it does because it reflects, but in case it does, uh, fake out. No, it doesn't. Okay, should have gone for ice beam to PP there, but whatever. Sacred kills Insane. Yep. Okay, this is fine because now I can go for beam with Blood Yawn, uh, and I think that should win it for me because they're at minus a quintillion. Um, well, they're not actually, but Earth Power finally kills. I maybe mean, should switch Gastro out at some point here, actually. Mm. Yeah, I've not played this endgame very well. I think I'm probably still okay. Like, I've got a fastization. Um, they've got subs, so no player off as well, which is big for me. Um, Yeah, I got my Intrepid Sword. I break some Yawn. Am I going to regret not PP maxing my Gastro? Is that what this is going to come down to? They protect. They try to waste PP. What are they doing? They just give me more lefties recovery. That's fine. Um, I guess maybe trying to stall out a protect on my end, but I don't think I have a reason to protect her. Gastro yawns. I'm going to regret not PP maxing my fucking Gastro here, aren't I? That's so annoying. Um, do this, do this, do this. Ah, uh, Beam of Flight's really obvious here. I could have gone for an Earth Power, but I think I'm wasting Earth Powers there if I do that. Um, now I think I protect. Dude, I'm throwing this endgame so hard. God damn it. Yawn. Okay. I protect now, because if they sub, that's just free damage for me. Um, is that correct? Neutral. No, I'm at minus one. Okay. Um, I'm gonna earth power this turn. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, yeah, it's 
break sub. I thought that wasn't gonna break sub for a second. I was having a panic attack. Okay, um. Nation sleeps. Good job. Earth power. Okay, I think I play for time here actually. Uh, my most consistent win con here is, is playing for time. That's power. Yeah. I can't sub again. Um, so, I should have PP maxed my Earth powers, um, but I'm going to win in spite of the fact that I didn't. Um, if I had infinite Earth powers left, then I always just keep pressing Earth power until Zation dies. Uh, but unfortunately, I did not PP max my. Uh, Earth power, uh, so I only have 10 PP, of which I have one remaining. So my optimal play here is, in case Zation wakes up this turn and protects, I need to stall out as many turns as I can with Gastro. With oh sorry, I need to stall for as much time as I can with Gastro, um, because I can't really do any damage with Ice Beam. I don't get hit by like double Sacred Sword crit to lose me the game or something. So my optimal play here is to Earth power. Two thirds of the time I win on the spot. One third of the time, I win on timer. <laughs> oh, they beat late. Okay. They didn't even protect. Christ. That was a horrible endgame. I almost beat... I played the early game really well. Like, I, I played game one fine. Game two, I played great with the gastro in the back, maxing it, getting rid of all the threats, fine. I beefed the endgame so hard. I just kept switching between targets. I should have just taken out the Grimstone when I could. Um... Because once Grimstone did... Good thing that's recorded, because I've already won the game. Um... I win. Like, there's no disputing that I win that. Like, their last Pokemon's gone down. If they try and go, ooh, dee -hee, um, then that, they do not have a leg to stand on. Um... They've also said GG to me, so I assume that means they've just accepted that they lost. Um, okay. Um, yeah, like I said, incredibly scuffed endgame. I played the early game really well. I was just... I was some combination of too passive and too indecisive in the late game. Um, and just didn't really get anything done because of it. Um, I probably should have, when I had the chance, just hard focused on the Grimstock. Well, on the turn, I switched my Rillaboom out. I think it would have been more sensible for me to just double down the Grim Snarl and get rid of it straight away. Um, or, yeah. Or, like, on the turn I sacked Grim Snarl. Uh, sorry, the turn I sacked. Um, wait, no, what am I talking about? What am I talking about? Yeah, I should I should have basically gone hard into the Grim Snarl as soon as I could. Because in that kind of endgame situation where you've got a 2v1. Oh, sorry, a, well, not in 2v1, sorry, a 4v2. And your opponent can't switch. Grim Snarl is never going to have Protect there. So what I can do is I can just safely beat that slot down and then force a situation where it's like 3v1 into Zacian, which I think I win most of the time because I have Incin, I have Gastro, I have Zacian, which is faster than theirs. Um, I end up winning that pretty much every time unless something goes disastrously wrong because um, I can Intimidate Stall with Incin, I can Yawn with Gastro, I can Protect Stall with Gastro, I can Sack my Rillaboom at some point. Like... Yeah, if I just clear out the Grim Star faster, I think I win that. But, I mean, I still win. So, you know what? We take it. It's a 2-0. It took about 20 minutes longer than it should have done. Well, 20 minutes. It took about 15 minutes longer than it should have done. But, dubs it dub. So we take it. Um, GG's to my opponent. Good set. Um, Baron's Skeeter is an interesting thing I had to end up playing around. Um, yeah, game 2 was a bit weird. Because I think my opponent made a lot of calls correctly. But I just positioned well enough that it didn't really matter. Like, whatever. Who knows? Um, yeah, that's it. That's the game, the set. Um, I'm now 2-0 in World Cup. We'll take it. Um, just got to win next week against Malaysia. Um, so I think we're now 3-1 up in this fixture against Honduras. Um, so two more wins um, will guarantee us the win this week, which then means I think we just have to beat Malaysia. Well, no, if Malaysia beat Germany, it's complicated. Um, oh, well, either way. We just win the rest of our matches and then we win. That's fine. Um... Yeah, this is this is week two of three in the group stages. Um, so hopefully we round up this fixture with the rest of my team, and then just got to win next week, and that should give us a decent chance of qualifying. Um, 
yeah, um, hopefully I'll be playing next week as well. I don't see a reason why I wouldn't be. Um, so look forward to another one of these um, next Sunday as well. But for now, that's going to be all. Uh, thank you for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the content, please do drop a like on the video, sub to the channel if you have not already, and go follow me on Twitch um, for uh, more VGC content. I occasionally do other stuff, but it's mostly VGC. Uh, link to that will be in the description. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.